Right. So um, obviously the title of the, um, the webinar is kind of based around how um, I acquired sort of a lot of properties quite quickly and um, the various strategies that I used to, to kind of pull this off. And um, we'll just go through sort of a bit about me and, and then obviously how we actually did it. And then a um, bit about some of the people that are doing it as well, using the same sort of strategies. So um, it's none of this is, is nuclear physics. It's, it's very straightforward. Um, you just got to know how to do it really. So it's um, a, few, a few of you there. Bit of a joke on this one, but my name is actually Ryan. It's not Luke. A lot of people call me Luke. Uh, I get it all the time, so don't worry about it if you have called me Luke before. Um, but uh, I do get it all the time. Um, I used to be a mortgage advisor, and then I went into financial advising. I um, I've done a couple of stints living overseas. So I lived in South Africa when I was sort of um, a lot younger, and uh, lived in Dubai about um, nine ten years ago, um, which was a great experience. And uh, I became an accident, accidental landlord um, in 2011. Um, you know, I, I wasn't planning to be a landlord, but it kind of gave me my taste into, into the property game. Um, I built the service accommodation business uh, from absolutely no experience whatsoever. Um, probably three years ago, I didn't even know what Airbnb was. Uh, we currently change um, in excess of 300 beds a week when we're, when we're fully at it. Um, you know, it's... Um, it is a it's a busy busy um business that we've built up on the service accommodation side and um you know that, that that's done done well for us um i've built my personal net wealth up uh using buy refurbish refinance to over a million quid uh which I'm, I'm very proud of um and it's something that um i got there quicker than i ever thought i would um and uh, it wasn't actually until i did my financial statement for another BRR project um, only a couple of weeks ago that I realized um, what, what, what the actual number was. And, um, you know, we house tenants all over the Northeast of England. Uh, that is our, my, uh, you know, uh, and the business is in main focus area and, uh, you know, single family and uh, room by room lets. So a bit about my story just first, just so you know exactly kind of who I am, what I did and, 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 and where I've been. Um, I was just a, a regular guy really wanting a bit more, um, and I, I, but, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. And um, it meant I wasn't able to live this financial freedom life that everyone kept, you know, I kept seeing it on social media and I kept wondering what it was. Um, you know, you kept seeing other people do it in property. And I just couldn't figure it out. And it was starting to, you know, really bug me, uh, depressing me a bit. And, you know, I was constantly watching all these people making money out of property and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, the problem was my lack of knowledge just kept bringing me back to the same thing every time, which was, you know, I just constantly thought I need a deposit, I need a deposit, I need a deposit. How can I find a deposit? Um, and then one day I was just sat at a sales conference. Uh, it wasn't really property related as such. Um, and there was a speaker on and, and I, I discovered a way to get going without saving, you know, years and years and years um, for a deposit for a house. And, um, you know, in my head, I just thought, how can you build a portfolio quickly when you've got to save 20, 30 grand and then get 200 pounds a month out of the property and then do that again? Um, it just, I just couldn't compute that in my head and I couldn't figure it out. Um, might be a few years on, on, on the webinar right now who are thinking something very similar. Um, you know, so, after, after this, it was crystal clear how I could use property to build cash flow quickly. It was, it was like a light bulb went off in my head and um, I kind of left there and, and just went straight into sort of plan. How could I do it? Um, the biggest thing was I learned estate agents aren't the entry ticket into property. And as a result, I started building relationships with the source. Um, suddenly, I, I started earning a lot of money and um, without even realizing this thing was snowballing. And, and that's when I realized the secret wasn't saving for a deposit. Um, it, it was finding motivated sellers and motivated landlords. And, um, and that's, that's really where things start to take off once that, that mindset shift changed a bit. Uh, my plan was to start expanding into other locations. So I started widening my, my net. I started pushing out a bit. And, uh, and I didn't stop there. I started pushing in other profitable rental strategies. And, and, um, and after that, I pushed the brand out as much as I could. And, um, and the deal started finding us eventually, and, and they do now to this day. You know, we, we, as well as all the marketing that we do to, to bring 
you know, the pipe, keep the pipeline busy. We, we get a lot of referrals now and um, a lot of deals start to find us. But I, um, I hit a problem and, um, you know, I ended up getting sucked into the operations too much and uh, the portfolio stopped growing. I think this is a, a direct consequence of it sort of building quite quickly. Um, you know, all of a sudden you've got a lot more to do and uh, you kind of have to figure it out. I wasn't marketing as much. I had no time for viewings and um, all of a sudden I, I absolutely hated what I, what I built up. Um, you know, getting phone calls at 11 o'clock at night from guests that can't get in lockbox codes or tenants that have lost their keys or, you know, it just, I just started to really despise what I'd built up. Um, so, there was kind of two ways, you know, and I thought about like, do I just sell the loss and, and that's that, or do I, um, you know, figure it out? And obviously, um, you know, I, I could see the longevity in, in all of this and, and continually building the cash flow. So I tested multiple systems and also tested multiple people. Uh, and I decided, you know, that I, I was going to build a business with minimal employees and try and have it run. Um, run my clockwork basically without me involved that much. So by doing that, I implemented a lot of systems. Yes, I do have staff, um, but I try and keep the staff levels down. Um, I'd rather, if I can find a software, I'll choose a software any day. Um, not because I don't like people. I just think um, for one, softwares don't take holidays and um, they host turn up for work. Um, but um, you know, they're also a lot cheaper to run normally. Um, Within the last few years, I've continued to acquire property and I've grown uh, the portfolio bigger than I'd ever hoped, really. Um, and um, focusing on the business and not working in the business, I've, I've been able to push into new areas, which you can kind of see on this diagram here. So um, HMO, service accommodation, minimos, which is sort of room by room, let's under five bedrooms, like I like to call them. Um, I've also been able to create a cleaning and sort of linen hire revenue stream in the business. And now we run other refurbishment projects for sort of landlords and investors as well. So, you know, that's another revenue stream in the business. And uh, last but not least, obviously the academy, which I'm hugely passionate about. And one of my big focuses for 2020 and 2021 is going to be the academy, uh, whilst the rest of the business kind of builds itself uh, with what we've got in place at the minute. So, um, you know, what's that done for me? Obviously, I can get up every day and smile. Um, you know, um, you know, my bank, my bank statement text is is always pleasing to see something that you kind of dream of, and, and it is starting to become a, a real reality now. And um, the main thing is that I've always, I've, always, I've been able to take more time back with the kids. Uh, grinding long hours for minimum reward was never something I enjoyed. Um, so now that I've kind of systemized and automated the business, obviously I can um, put a bit more time back into the family. And, and I guess that's what we all do this for, you know, which is kind of the the sort of leverage sort of lifestyle as much and um you know have that residual income coming in every month and not having to sort of work too hard i mean don't get me wrong i still work very hard but um i think you can pick or choose how much you want to work so so that's kind of me um and that's that's my story um for those of you that maybe don't know who i am or, or kind of where i've come from or, or, or what i do um how does it apply to you anyone can do this and i, and I do mean that um, you know, you don't need large deposits to get into property. Um, you don't need to own title deeds to create monthly cash flow. Um, you know, that can potentially replace your income if you're currently in a job. And, um, you know, tenants and guests are not hassle. You know, I see it all the time on the forums that, you know, I, I, I hate being a landlord and, you know, um, sick of tenants. And, you know, if you put good systems in place, then, you know, you, and, and you vet the right tenants or you vet the right guests. Um, you shouldn't have that much hassle. I mean, any job's going to give you hassle. Any business is going to give you hassle. So you can't expect to have none. But I hear it all the time. Like, oh, I don't want to be a landlord. Um, as you'll see when we go through this journey, this actually plays in our favor because it's how we can acquire property. But, um, you know, there are a lot of people that just have no interest in sort of managing um, tenants and guests. Um, they just, they, they, they hate the hassle side of it. So it puts them off. Um, you need two things to succeed. You need motivation and you need knowledge. And with those, with those two things, you can, you can make it in property and you can, you can build your million pound portfolios. No problem at all.